Morning people, welcome back to F Politics. Because the Reform Party, Nigel Farage's party, didn't get nearly as many seats as their vote share would suggest, Nigel Farage is now calling for proportional representation. A proportional representation, we'll be debating that in a sec. You're passionate about this? Yes, I have been for a long time. I felt that the House of Commons does not represent where the country is on so many things. We vote negatively in this country. We vote, we say, well, we, we dislike this party um, a little bit less than we dislike the other party. Uh, millions of people who would vote in elections just don't bother because they don't feel represented at all and I'm pleased to say that Andy Burnham has now spoken up and says that Labour should commit to proportional representation. Interestingly, YouGov polling from March now shows many more people support PR than support our current first-past-the-post. And as you know, this is pretty much the only thing that Nigel Farage and I have ever agreed on. And I'm well aware that if we had a voting system where the seats in Parliament matched the votes of the people, Nigel Farage would have a lot more seats in Parliament. And I'm okay with that because I support democracy. Besides, I'd much rather Nigel Farage was challenged in open Parliament rather rather than just occasionally appearing on mainstream news and then disappearing and funneling his message through social media. That our outdated, first-past-the-post electoral system is not fit for purpose. Now, if you hear that and you think, oh, he just wants fairness, then he's playing you for a mug. He's counting on you not to remember all the things that he and his party have ever said and done. Because if you're thinking, no, he's not just trying to get his own way, he's trying to make sure that everybody's views are accurately reflected in Parliament, but that doesn't really match with how he handled Brexit. Because as you know, the Reform Party, or the Brexit Party at the time, hated Boris Johnson's Brexit deal. This is not Brexit. This is not what we voted for. Ben Habib, the deputy leader of the Reform Party, said... You know, I see the withdrawal agreement as much worse than remain, frankly. And that's so we've got to get the Prime Minister to move away from. Do you from think the remain is better than, than the Boris Johnson's deal? I do, yeah. I do think it's, it's much better because if you think about it, under Boris Johnson's deal, we're going to leave Northern Ireland bereft. We're going to leave the European Union. Is that the Union. official Brexit Party position that remaining in the EU is better than Boris Johnson's that, deal? And Nigel Farage himself said that if the British people were given a choice between remaining in the EU and Boris Johnson's Brexit deal... Remain wins that referendum or wins it every single time. So the leadership of the Reform Party was on record as saying that this version of Brexit wasn't just bad for the UK, but that the people of this country didn't actually want it. And that was Brexit. We'd had three years of negotiations and debate and that was it. We were either going to leave the EU on Boris Johnson's terms or remain in the EU. And the Reform Party's official position was the people of the UK would rather remain in the EU. So on that basis, did they support giving the people a referendum on those two options to guarantee that whatever happened was democratically legitimate? Well, here's Reform Leader Richard Tice. Uh, they could even force a second referendum on us. All this is up for grabs. And that's why we actually need a general election very, very quickly. So that's a no to giving the people a referendum where every vote for either of those two options would count. Instead, they pushed for a general election, or a Brexit election, as Richard Tice called it. An election based on a voting system that they're now claiming to be against because it delivers outcomes that don't match what people actually voted for. So are they just realizing that now, or did they always know that? You know, if you think about this election, it's not just... It's not just split down party lines, it's split down Brexit and, not, and, and Remain lines too. So you've got multiple things going on and, and seats could be won on as low as 25% of the vote cast or 30% of the vote cast. So they knew it was a crooked system back then because if, for example, there are 10 parties that support one policy, let's call it Remain, and then there's one party that supports another policy, let's call it Brexit, and let's say 30% of the people vote for that one policy, Brexit, and the remaining 70% is split 10 ways between those 10 parties. Well, all the parties with 7% of the vote, that's obviously less than 30%, so they'd lose. And so you'd end up with a policy that 70% of the people explicitly voted against. So what did the Reform Party do? They stood down hundreds of candidates to make sure that people who supported Brexit would only have one option they could vote for, in order to help the Tories deliver a version of Brexit that they were on record as saying the people of the UK did not want, and if given a choice, they'd abandon Brexit altogether. So if you believe the Reform Party when they say that they support proportional representation because they believe in democracy and making sure that the people get what they want, you are stupid. Because they've already proven that they are perfectly happy to screw over the will of the people in order to get their own way. See, these people, Nigel Farage, Richard Tice, Reform UK, they claim to be the champions of our political freedoms, like free speech, democracy, but it's only when it suits them. Because when it doesn't, I can tell you from personal experience. See, I'm being physically manhandled. Reform UK, that is their attitude to free speech. A member of the British press is being physically 
pushed out of their rally. Or when I tweeted about the clearly anti-Semitic cartoons of the organization that Richard Tice set up, he tried to sue me. They are bullies just trying to get their own way. Do not let them convince you otherwise. But coming back to proportional voting, right now it looks like Labour has 62% of the seats in Parliament, despite only 34% of the people actually voting for them, which, let's be clear, is obviously unfair. But what I find interesting is how many people in the mainstream media are now talking about the need to reform the voting system. Because back in 2019, after the election, when 52% of voters had chosen parties whose manifestos were offering a referendum on the Brexit deal, i.e. a chance to remain in the EU, I was pretty much the only one screaming, this doesn't make any sense if we leave the EU after the majority of people voted to stop that from happening. And so Boris Johnson called the, called the election so he could take us out of the EU on his terms, yes? Well, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, and, among among and, other and, and, things, and so because, and so and so it was an election essentially on whether or not we leave the EU on Boris Johnson's terms. You just called it a second referendum. So I, I, so, I so, it a second well, referendum, so based so based on the results from last night, do the majority support leaving the EU on Boris Johnson's terms? This is farcical. Ask, answer the question. Hang on, hang on, Femi. We're, we're not gonna we're not gonna answer the question. We're not gonna debate in terms that are entirely set up by you. Because as Richard Ty said, that was a Brexit election, and by the popular vote. Brexit lost. And so I find it funny that it's now that people are talking about the need to reform the voting system after the major left-wing party massively benefited from it and the major far-right party massively lost out. Where were they four years ago when the Tories got 56% of the seats in Parliament off only 44% of the votes? So that when you compare seat share to vote share, Labour votes were worth 30% less than Tory votes, and Green votes were worth 21 times less than Tory votes. But now that this voting system has given a huge leg up to the party that's supposed to be on the left, and massively destroyed two major right-wing parties, suddenly something has to change. I'm Femi, make sure you follow F Politics at Politics doesn't F you. Have a great week.